What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how I clean my Invisalign trays. It was a highly requested video and uh, here we go. So before we get started, I just wanted to do a quick update of where I'm at. I actually started my Invisalign, I believe sometime in September and now I am on my 30th tray. I just took out my 29th tray, the dirty. And these last ones I'm gonna to have to wear for about two weeks. So before I pop in my 30th tray, which hopefully is the last one and then that's it. Say hi to Charlie. <laughs> so since I'm about to put on my 30th tray, I'm just gonna show you guys with these ones on how I clean them. So when I'm out and about and I'm at work, I definitely have a small brush with me. It's this one that I use, this little wooden one. I like to use a smaller head in general just because I still have my wisdom teeth and it's easier to get back there. It's really tight to get back there, so this helps out a lot. Brush them just like how you would brush your teeth. I kind of go in with the toothpaste and go in all around. And then depending on where you have your attachments, you've got little pockets in here. It doesn't really want to focus on it. But for example, I have one right over here. I've got one up here and two over here. I do find that when you eat and you just go and pop these in, there's gonna be stuff that gets stuck in those pockets. And I find that the only way to get them out is if you brush out this way, almost like with your teeth. You know how you're supposed to go from the top down? You're not supposed to really go like this. You're supposed to go from your gum line down. Kind of do it with the inside of your trays and push up just to get it all out. And then I kind of do circular motions. It's kind of hard to get in at the front of your teeth because it goes in really tight and narrow. I do highly suggest that if you eat something, please brush your teeth right after. And I say that because these fit on so tight onto your teeth that there is no movement for anything to kind of get out. So whatever you're eating and it's stuck on your teeth, it's gonna stay there. And then that's how you're gonna create cavities. So yes, the little brush is really, really good. I like that. As for home, this is the one that I use. I just got a new head. There we go. I use the Diamond Sonicare. Any electric brush will do. This has the small head, again, so I can get to the back. But the reason why I suggest that you get an electrical brush is because it cleans a lot better than just a manual brush. And when you have stuff stuck on your teeth, like the Invisalign trays, so much, even if you do brush your teeth after eating, there's still the saliva that kind of sits there. And that can create buildup of the calculus. And then by the time that you're done your Invisalign treatment, once you go in for a cleaning, it's gonna take a lot longer, especially if you don't have insurance it's gonna be a lot more expensive because chances are you're gonna to have to do a few appointments as opposed to just the one. Another thing that you should be doing daily at home is flossing. This is the one that I use from Desert Essence. This is a tea tree oil dental floss. And then once I'm done this one, I'm gonna look for a packaging that doesn't have any plastic on it. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know down below. And then if you're curious for the toothpaste that I use, it's from this Green Beaver Company, which I believe is a Canadian company. I personally like the Frosty Mint one, just to share in case you guys are interested in switching up to a healthier one, fluoride free. I'm not really sure what else to share with you guys. Everything is pretty basic. Um, the only thing I really wanted to share with you guys is the technique of how it is that I brush these. But yeah, I do suggest that you take them off every single time that you eat and then to drink as well. I did have these off a few months ago. I went to go take them off and I had a turmeric spicy latte. It was really, really good. And I didn't have time to brush my teeth and I just kind of rinsed my mouth over and over again. And then when I put them on while I was at work, I never noticed, but once I got home and I took them out, they were like neon. So please be careful with the foods that you're eating. Definitely brush, brush, brush. I know that it can be a really big pain in the butt, but once you get yourself to a routine, it's a lot easier. You have like two minutes to brush your teeth. I feel like I spend two minutes on each of these trays just to get everything out. I even go in after and start to look at the edges just to see if there's any buildup of anything left in there because I also don't want these to smell and then when you put them in your mouth and then that causes your mouth to smell and you're I'm talking to people all day at work so it's just yeah hygiene is really important but I feel like you need to pay extra attention to it when you are going through an Invisalign treatment or even braces it's just so easy for things to get stuck in there and then once you pop these in it's like that's it you're they're locked in there and then they create like I don't know, little bugs and then start eating away at your teeth. Like I just, I picture it all and I, I freak out. I have noticed now that with Invisalign, 
even though I do brush my teeth after eating when I get home and I floss at the end of the night, I do notice that there's a lot more stuff stuck in between my teeth than there ever was before. I do also have a really tight contact with my teeth, which is when they're really close together and it's kind of hard to put the floss in between your teeth. So definitely important. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right over here. And I'll see you guys, I guess, with the grand finale for my Invisalign series, but I'll see you guys next week.